intimate video talking about the things that I don't like about this car. I'm not rich enough to go into a Mercedes-Benz dealership, spec a C63 AMG how I wish it to look to come straight off the forecourt. So I have had to, well, and then lose 20 grand. As soon as you drive off the forecourt, you're gonna lose about 15 to 20 grand. So I've had to buy a cheaper car, one that fits my budget, because I wasn't actually expecting one of these cars to fit into my BMW M3 replacement budget. However, because I didn't go through some of the close-ups of what this car has in the collection video, I wanna take this opportunity for you guys to get up close and personal with this car, and also for me to talk about things that I don't actually like about the way that this car looks now, and then start thinking about what I'm going to do to change them and how I'm going to transform this car in its current form into an SOL beast. Now, I've also seen the comments about why I didn't buy an S model, and I'm gonna to touch upon that in the video. Actually, no, I'm gonna do that right now because firstly, the S wasn't in my budget. Simple as that, but the more technical side to it and the more clever thinking in terms of my financial head is that the four litre bi-turbo AMG engine that is in this car is also the same engine that's in the AMG GTS. And then Mercedes in the ECU detuned them to fit the right S model C63 or AMG GTS. My AMG GTS was 550 brake horsepower detuned to 503 or 510. Rentec plugged their laptop in and voila, 550 brake horsepower. And then with the decap pipes and also the Rentec tune, it got it up to 625 brake horsepower. So I am saving around 10,000 pounds on the similar spec C63S versus the car that I bought. That is 10,000 pounds to use for modifications. And I can guarantee that by April this year, this car is going to have over 100 brake horsepower more than a standard C63S. So that's why I didn't get an S. Now, obviously there are loads of things that I love about this car. Over the last 24 hours, all I have wanted to do is itch to drive it. I had to rush the collection video a little bit because we were filming the Hurricane Performante video, which you would have already seen. And that was just an incredibly stressful day. We are now 24 hours on from the collection and all I want to do is drive it. I've been so tempted to not edit any videos just so that I can put miles on this car because it is an animal and I really want to start testing the limits. The weather absolutely sucks today, so it doesn't go in a straight line at all, but I parked it up because I wanna bring you guys in on a closer look to this car. And number one on my list of things that I do not like about this car is the chrome, of course. The AMG GTS that I had had the chrome exterior pack, which I sent it straight to Dub Customs, and they de the entire thing. That is the exact same story to what is going to happen here. So the chrome around the windows, the chrome on the door handle, the chrome on the badges, and the chrome on the front grill. They are all getting blacked out because I think it is going to really set the car off and make a huge difference to the way that this car looks. I love the silver diamond cut wheels. They are staying for now. And I also quite like the brake caliper colors, but I think they'll change when I start changing the actual body color of the car. And then we move on to the body colored paint parts that I'm going to change. So you see this down here, this little bit of the front bumper that sweeps around. Mercedes, as an optional extra, offer a night pack to this car, which has tints. And it also has this part of the front bumper in gloss black. So I'm going to change this to gloss black, extending these black vents here, this gloss black fender bit here, and essentially make the mouth of the car even bigger with all of this going gloss black too. So from the front, it is going to have a lot more black, meaning that it is going to look even more aggressive. The Mercedes-Benz badge is going to go all black. And I'm going to take this annoying front plate mount off because it's nailed on. So I'm gonna get the dub guys to remove this, then remove this front number plate and get a smaller one made with the P77WSX. So my main pet peeves about how this car looks is all around the front because right now, at this particular angle, uh, quite a lot of lines are lost in the front and it doesn't look that aggressive. So they need to be changed in order to make the car stand out from the front, make it look a little bit more aggressive because right now this C63 doesn't look far off a C300, which isn't a bad thing because a C300 is a beautiful looking car, but this is the C63. This is the top of the line car. It needs to look good. These are gonna go gloss black. The wing mirrors are gonna go gloss black. And down here, there is a little indent, oh, my hands are getting dirty. This bit here 
needs to go gloss black. I don't like that there is so much white down the side of the cars and there's way too much chrome. And round the back, this little duck tail here, if this goes gloss black, it looks aftermarket, it looks even bigger. It massively accentuates the lines. As soon as you turn that into gloss black, it will accentuate that rear and make it look even more aggressive because at the moment, the rear of the car is where it looks its best. Let me show you what is going on inside the car because there are some options on here that make this car just, well, even more special. Firstly, we've got Jeeves here that passes your seatbelt. So this whole electrical piece will come out and hand the passenger and the driver side, the seatbelt kind of comes to there so you don't have to lean the whole way around. So Jeeves right there is very good. And I think I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat so that you guys get to see a better view and I can talk you through some of the specs. So uh, Jeeves. Now <laughs> we have parked off-road with a lot of wet leaves and dirt. So this is the first time that the carpets are definitely going to get dirty but inside everything is black but there is a nice blend of leather alcantara and this sort of brushed aluminium finish up there so right here we've got the amazing c63 designed center console that is smooth it's elegant it's incredibly easy and intuitive all of the buttons are very very obvious we've got two massive cup holders here which again are incredibly handful for every time that i want to do a mcdonald's roulette this is exactly the same as the AMG GTS, so I know all of the uh, air conditioning controls right here. This is very similar to the AMG GTS, and then the buttons down here are just a little bit smaller, a little bit more of a simplistic design than the AMG GTS. We've got manual mode. This is the rocker where we can scroll between the Sport, Sport Plus, Comfort, and Individual, which I'm yet to set up. Suspension, traction control off, whoop. Exhaust button, start, stop, all of the boring stuff is this side, which is a little bit dull. I've got a button down here which electronically pops the boot, and I've also got a button that then pops the boot back down. A little bit more advanced to what I had on the BMW M3, so anyone out there saying that I've downgraded my M3 to the C63, I feel like I've upgraded it, because I've got an electric boot popper. There we go, that's Jeeves with the seatbelt right there. Alcantara leather with silver stitching, which I believe is an optional extra. The AMG seats are super, super comfortable. And there's the brushed aluminium on the center console here. This is the point of view that I have when I drive this car. To the right, I've got all of my electronic seat controls. I've got heated seats and I've got the all important premium sound, Burmester. Sounds absolutely fantastic, but not as good as my BMW M3 Harman Kardon. So maybe, maybe this button here with the boot kind of levels that out. That sunroof is awesome. There we go. That is a slight interpretation of what I usually do when I purchase a car and give you guys an in-depth tour of everything that is going on in my mind when I pick a new car up. This is not a Mercedes-Benz car, it's a Mercedes-AMG car. So Mercedes once again confusing us with all of their numbers and letters with all of their models. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is everything that I don't like about my AMG, but it is also everything that I do like about it. And how am I going to eradicate the things that I don't like? Who knows, carbon exterior parts might be already on the way. As Tony said in the collection video, I was never finished with AMG when I sold my AMG GTS. My ownership on that car was cut short. And yes, I got out of that car and didn't lose any money, which is rare in a Mercedes AMG, especially when I bought that car so new with so few miles and then put quite a few miles on it. But I just wasn't finished with the AMG brand. And to now have my daily that has the same engine that was in my AMG GTS or there or thereabouts, it is just a dream come true. And honestly, to drive this thing, it feels like a European American muscle combined. It's a massive brute of an engine with an incredible soundtrack, heavy steering, and it just doesn't want to go in a straight line. It is an absolute joy to drive, and I cannot wait to continually put miles on the car so that I can bring you more of a well-rounded review of, of owning this car, what it's like to live with, 
but from the exterior, those are the things that I don't like about the car. It's got too much white on it, it's got too much silver, it's got too much chrome. It needs a lot of de-chroming to make it look even more aggressive than it already does. I've had so much inspiration sent to me via Instagram, Twitter, so thank you everyone that has sent wheel options, exhaust options, body kit options. I've even had someone send me a pry design wide body kit, which I didn't even think was possible on this car that is already so wide. So there are many, many things going on in my head. So thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment box below on what color I should wrap this car eventually, and keep sending me Twitter, Instagram DMs of inspiration that you have seen online, because all of it will help. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi. Các bạn hãy bấm like, comment, và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha.